don't know what story she told them big ass men. But y'all, when I tell you they came to the car, told me to get out of the car, and they escorted me in the police precinct. They escorted me in the police. Hey, so welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, y'all. I know y'all see this title. And y'all like, what do you be going through? What you be getting yourself into? But y'all, I promise it was my fault. I didn't know. I didn't know. On today's video, I'm going to be telling y'all about the story time on how I got beat by two grown police officers right before I went to school. Y'all, this is my first story time video. For real, for real. I don't be doing this. I just talk and talk and talk. So y'all gotta work with me. I'm like, you know, just work with me. I'm gonna get better as time goes on. So I'm gonna be telling y'all about how I got beat by two police officers, y'all. So this story takes place in ninth grade. I was in ninth grade, so this was about like, you know, a few years ago. I graduated now, so it was ninth grade. This story time took place. Mind you, I'm at my grandma's house. And at the time, my family stayed with my grandma or whatever so i'm in my grandma house so my grandma kind of stayed in east memphis and the school i went to was in white haven so it was kind of like a drive so we used to have to get up early it was just me because my sister was already out of school so i used to have to get up early because it's like you know a little drive yeah i don't know i'm from memphis yeah i don't know that it's like a little drive to get there you know what i mean so my getting up early is never like a problem for me i can get up because i get up early anyways it's just always i always just been an early bird i always went to sleep early woke up early so that's never been a problem for you but y'all me and my mom used to get into it and we still do y'all get into it with y'all parents that so y'all understand but me and my mama get into it so much like we get into it so much i don't think she like me for real she don't like me for real but we get into it so 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 much do it so much and i don't i honestly cannot remember what we got into it about but i can tell y'all what happened in the altercation you know what i mean if y'all want to know that, like this video, like this video, comment and share and subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all, so it was the morning time, you know what I'm saying? I got ready for school, did what I could do, and she probably came in there. Because I, I can't remember with the details, so I'm going to tell you what I, what nine times out of ten happened. Because I know my mama. So she probably came in there and started yelling for a who knows what, no reason, and picking a fight. Because my mama likes to pick fights, so I feel like my mama like, are you? If y'all got parents like that, let me know. I feel like she like to argue, and I don't like me personally. I'm a Scorpio, she a Scorpio, but I'm an October Scorpio, and she a November Scorpio. Me personally, I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you. I don't like to argue. Like I just get annoyed because my I get annoyed quick, and I don't like to argue. When I'm upset, I just get quiet and I just stay to myself. And my personally in person, if y'all know me in person, I say to myself, anyways, I don't. But I don't know nobody. If I'm if we if me and you stay in a house together. You wouldn't know I'm there. Because I'm just quiet. I just stay on my phone and just do what I do. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't know I'm there. Her, on the other hand, she likes to argue. It seems like every time we talk, it's an argument. So then, so I don't know. We arguing about something. We arguing about something. I'm probably giving her like a calm response. Because I honestly cannot remember what we were arguing about. I'm trying to think, but I cannot so I'm giving her a calm response, you know what I'm saying? Just a, uh, okay, if you, okay. Like, mind you, but her mouth, she'll, when she argues, she'll start cursing you out and yelling and just cursing you out. Mind you, I'm not raising my voice. So when somebody starts to curse you out and say, this, 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 and the third, y'all know my mouth is slick. So I'm going to say some slick back. So when you start cursing me out, my phone's school, and it's 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to say, can you stop yelling at me? Like, can you stop yelling at me? I remember at the time, I'm like, can you stop yelling at me? Stop, can you stop yelling at me? I'm not raising my voice. I always say that to this day. Stop yelling at me. Because if I yell back, and if I say what I want to say, somebody's feelings going to get hurt. So I be trying to protect her feelings. You know, because it's still my mom, and you got to respect your parents. But it just be so hard. So I'm like, can you stop yelling at me? Can you stop yelling at me? So she's yelling, and I'm starting to get loud back. Because stop yelling at me. And you know what I'm saying? We get into the argument. My grandma, she's already gone because I think my grandma went to work. We get into an argument. At the time, it was like an apartment or whatever. So it was like an apartment. And my mama, you know, she she needs to take anchor management classes because the situation can be here and she can escalate it to here. So I'm here. She here. I'm just like, can you stop yelling at me? Like, 
that's the difference between I'm not holding you like that. Don't hold me like that. Respect go two ways. And you gonna respect me if you want me to respect you. Simple. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to remember, like, all I remember is that she got, like, I don't know. She got something. I want to say she got, like, a pole. Or she got, like, black. And she black. Y'all know how black folks be. Y'all know how parents be. Y'all know. So I don't be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? You was getting beat on. No. <laughs> like, y'all know how it is. Y'all know how it is. So she got, like, a pole or something. Or, like, I want to say she got, like, a, a mm, mm. I want to say like a knife or something. She got some sharp. She didn't get like a knife. She got like a pole or some sharp that if she would have hit when you hit it, it would have whooped my ass. Like it would have knocked me. It would have whooped my ass. Like it would have hurt me. And she got she got some object, some weapon. And start, you know, I guess she wanted me to comply to whatever she was yabbling, yelling about. So she got some weapon, y'all. Kid, you not so weapon. And that shit was so damn scary at the time. Cause my knife rate, I wasn't as big as I am now, y'all. I'm like five, five, seven. I'm not that tall. I'm not the tallest bitch in the world. And that's me now. So me in ninth grade, I'm probably five foot two. I was the same height as my best friend, and she like five three. So I'm five three. And my mama probably like a little taller than me. Cause my mama not that tall. My mama probably like five five. So she was like a little taller than me. So she got like the little, you know, the weapon. So I'm like, what's going on, girl? All I, all I did was say, okay, 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 okay. Because I didn't want you to, I wanted to stop yelling. And you getting a weapon? Is this what we doing? Is this what we going to do? If you want to do that, we can do that. <laughs> if you, you want to do that, we can do that. Because, baby, I'm what you got by me. I don't care who you is. I got to put me first. I got to put me first. So, my, we in apartment, so if y'all know how apartments is, they got like their little fireplace, and then they got the things that go next to the fireplace, like the metal broom, and like the metal, like, shank shit, and then the metal scooper. Y'all know what I'm talking about? So, they got this fireplace tools. So, I end up getting one of the fireplace tools. I think I end up getting a scooper, like the little shovel, the little miniature shovel. I end up getting a miniature shovel, because she had this pole, like, do you want to hit me? And, you know what I'm saying, baby, we gonna sword fight today. Like, we gonna, we gonna sword fight today. So, I ain't up getting a pole just so if she hit me, I can have something to, like, you know, to, like, brace the hit to stop the hit. I wasn't gonna hit her with it, of course, because I didn't want to die. But I just got it so she can stop the hit. So, when I picked it up, she like, oh, so you get shit that hit me, you know, you get about to hurt me, you know what I mean? Baby, it wasn't that serious. You see how you get stuff, how, how stuff works. So I get something to stop you from hitting me. But when I pick up something, you yell and think I'm finna hit you with it. Even though I'm not finna hit you with it. But you said you not finna hit me with it. So what do I supposed to think? If you thinking this and I'm thinking that. If common knowledge, if you think, if I pick up something and I'm not finna hit you with it, but I picked it up. You think I'm going to hit you with it, right? So, that's my common knowledge, too. That's what you're going to think. Like, that's what you're going to think. So, you know what I'm saying? So, we, like, so, like, shit in my face. So, we, I got the pole, like, the pole like this. Like, the pole like this. Hugs like this. So, our pose is like this. Like, we ain't hitting each other with the poles forcing against each other. You know what I'm saying? Her body works first against mine. My body works first against her. Because the pole, I'm not going to get hit with no middle pole and I got to go to school. I'm popular and I'm famous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna have no bruises on my face. I'm too cute for that. Things finally de de escalate. You know what I'm saying? Things de escalate. I come, like, she comes down. My sister and I breaking it up. She comes down. So I'm thinking that, okay, it's over it. It's over it. We end up getting into the car. We end up getting into the car. So yeah, so since um we stayed in East Memphis at the time and my school was in Whitehaven. I didn't know, like, exactly. And, y'all, East Memphis and Whitehaven, that's probably, like, a 30-minute drive. And I'm still kind of, I was still, like, young, so I didn't really know the city. So, I didn't know the routes, and then I wasn't driving. She was driving me. So, I, y'all don't really pay attention to stuff like that. So, I didn't know the routes of which we were taking. I, like, I didn't know the routes. Oh, hey, this is, you know, if you turn right, I'm you're not taking this school. Like, I'm thinking you taking a little shortcut. I'm thinking you taking a long way. I'm thinking you trying to let some steam up. You know what I'm saying? So, we get closer to, like, the neighborhood where I'm starting to get familiar because of Whitehaven because we end up living in Whitehaven. Like, you know, we end up living in Whitehaven a couple of times before we moved because we end up moving. We, we, me and my mom moved a lot. You know what I mean? So, we live in Whitehaven. So, I know, like, what Whitehaven look like when I see Whitehaven. 
So I'm thinking, okay, we okay, we in my haven now. She pulls in, like you know, she drives. I'm like, okay, we close to the school, we close to the school. She drives and she pulls into a police precinct. So I'm like, hmm. That's kind of weird, but okay, you you do you, you do you, girl. I'm still not thinking of nothing because I'm like, okay, girl, you do you, girl. You, I don't know, somebody stole your your wallet or something. I don't know what you got going on, but baby, you handle your business. It's like I'm not gonna stop you, girl. If you gotta handle your business, handle your business. You do you. But she ended up pulling into like a per police precinct, so she goes in. I stay in the car because that's your business. If you going to a police precinct and doing what you do, that ain't gonna do with me. I'm gonna mind my business. That's your business. So I just stay in the car and I was still kind of mad because of what's going on. Now, I mean, so I don't know what story she told them big grown men. I don't know what story. They didn't even try to hear my version of the story. I don't know what story she told them damn men. She probably told them I was trying to kill her. I was trying to do that. I don't know what story she told them big ass men. But y'all, when I tell you they came to the car, told me to get out of the car, And they escorted me in the police precinct. They escorted me in the police precinct. All the police officers looking at me like I'm a felon. Like I'm a felon. And they take me to this back room. Like, oh, you piping up with your mama. You disrespect your mama. My mama disrespected me. And I'm just defending myself. Because I'm not trying to die, y'all. I'm small, man. I'm five foot. Because it took me about to hit a grocery. Five foot small. Y'all know how small I was. Y'all seen me grow up. Y'all know how small I was. I'm small. I'm little. Y'all done watched me grow up. Y'all know. So I ain't even got to tell y'all how small I was. Y'all done seen it. So she go, they go in there. So they're like, oh, you just wreck your mama. You just wreck your mom. No, I'm saying you just wreck your mom. So I don't know what these big ass small men think they was going to do with me. But they like, so they get like a police bill. Like, my, I'm kind of familiar with a police bill and how like hard a police bill is or whatever because my dad is a police officer. My dad is a police officer. So I'm kind of familiar with it. You know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if this was completely legal. Because why is two grown men beating on a child? Like, they beat me out. They beat on a child who didn't do nothing but just defend themselves. Like, if anything, she should be going to jail. You know what I mean? She should be going to jail. I should pretty charge it. Okay, so they, like, grab me, you know? They grab me like this. They, like, they push me, but maybe it's you. You trying to push me. You They grab me behind my back, but I'm not in handcuffs or nothing, but they just have my hands behind my back. And they trying to push me on the table like they finna do something. Like, you know what I'm saying, baby? No, I don't give a fuck who you is. I don't know what you think your authority is, but baby, it's not uh, um, in your job description to be being on somebody else's head. So. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So they try to push me on the table like they finna hit on me or something. So baby, I'm finna fight back. One thing about me, I'm finna fight back. So I'm running around the little room. It's like a little, little, little room. I don't know if y'all ever been in a place. It's like a little small ass room, like the size of this bedroom. But it was like a table in the middle. And you know what I mean? Like the size of this bedroom. So I'm, I'm finna run, baby. I am finna to run. Like, I tried to run, but they, you know, they big. My, they big. My strength. So I'm. I guess it made them mad. I guess they feel like they got a little intimidated. So they had to show out. You know what I'm saying? Because mind you, like, it was still like a glass door. So everybody in the police that precinct could see what was going on. So they're trying to show out because I guess the girls or whatever watching. I don't know. They're trying to get some cool points. But they eventually, yeah, they eventually get me on the table. So they end up holding me, like, holding me, like, this in a choke hole. I kid you not, cause I my little self has some strength on me. When I'm upset and when I feel like I'm in my life, I'm gonna get some strength. I got the strength for ten men. Ten men. Ten men. And so they end up having me in a choke hole. I kid you not. And they get like that little part. If y'all never had got hit by a police bill, the police bill is basically fucking metal and wood. Cause that shit so damn leather and hard. That shit is hard. It's basically getting hit by a plank of wood if you be in on it. So they got it. And they hit me. They hit me like, bah, bah, bah. So me, I'm still trying to get away. I'm still trying to get away. 
So at the time, they hit me. Bah, 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 bah. My all before 7 15 in the morning. This all happened before 7 o'clock in the morning. It was like probably 7 o'clock. I ended up running to school a little bit late, but my teacher I had at the time was cool. All before 7 15 in the morning, y'all. All before 7 15. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, and she just watching her arms cross like she didn't. My mama is just watching in the corner like her arms cross like she just did. So you know what I'm saying? She just did something. She just like, and I'm saying her, and I'm just getting mad. Like this was not this year. Like when I tell y'all, the situation was not that serious for you to be doing that. Personally, I feel like it could have been avoided. In my opinion, I just feel like it wasn't that serious. It's not that serious. But bye, 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 they turn my ass up. So as, when they finally get done of this torment of this hell on earth that they were doing to me, when they finally get done, y'all, she be like, oh, yeah, yeah, his daddy a police officer. So I just feel like this. Hey, stop. They like, oh, his daddy police officer. So he one of us. He ours. He our kids too. His daddy a police officer. First of all, my daddy is my daddy is right way higher, y'all. My daddy don't do the stuff that y'all do. My daddy is a detective. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't really talk to my daddy no more, but my daddy is a detective. If he found that child was beating on his kids, he probably would have allowed it. He probably would have allowed it. But my daddy was a little crazy too. I got some story times with that. That's why I talked to seeing him. But if he <laughs> <laughs> but if any other dad, any same dad found out two grown men was being on his 14 year old, who not even, who like 80 pounds, who not even 100 pounds in, over a situation that they crazy, mama, mama did, had going on, they wouldn't allow that. So they found out that out. So they put me back in the chokehold. I think this is over. Once they found out that they was me, yeah, yeah, They put me back in the chokehold. Yeah, I kid you not. I'm like, oh, stop. Why do you say that? I'm like, I'm getting upset. I'm getting mad. Put me back in the chokehold. Give me like four more legs. They trying to put they, they strength in it. Bah, since they found out my dad and police officer, they trying to put they strength in it. Bah, bah, bah. Bah, I'm crying, but it's like one of them tears. It's like one of them cries where you just more mad of anything. Cause it's like, why would you do that? So, you know what I'm saying? She dropped me off at school. It's probably like 7 30 or whatever. She dropped me off at school or whatever. I go to school. My, I, I told my friends, cause I, I was telling my friends I was shirking like a bird. Cause I wanted my mom to go to jail. I was thinking, like, I'm in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm either gonna run away. Either finna run away or I'm finna send this lady to jail. So when I got to school, I was happy to go to school. I was happy to go to school because, mind you, in school, I graduated high school with a 4.4 GPA. So I'm smart. Graduated high school a year early. So I'm not dumb. Never had the guy suspended once. I'll tell y'all about that. But other than that, don't really get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Top of my class, all A's every year in high school. Till I graduated. All A's. Never had a B. Never had a C. Never had a D. Never had an F. All A's. Every year. Every quarter. So I'm I'm just giving y'all this backstory so y'all know I'm not a bad child. I'm not bad. So my teachers love me. So I, you know what I'm saying? I, my teachers love me. Then I had personality. Then I was smart and I was respectful. So my teachers love me. So I'm in my math class. I'm chirping like a bird. I'm like, I'm going to tell you this uh, release precinct. Because I mind you, people can tell. Because if y'all know me, y'all know me. I'm just a, radiate, a radiation of good energy. Like, I, you know, I make you laugh. I am make you feel good. You're around me. You're going to feel like you family because it's just the presence that I give off. Like, I just give off good energy. So when I'm upset or something, it's so easy. If you actually know me, it's so easy to tell that I'm upset. You know what I mean? Or if you just been around me, you can just tell, oh, something wrong with him. I'm like, what's wrong with him? What's, what's wrong? So they, all my friends are like, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, friend? What's going on, friend? So I'm chirping like a bird. We in math class. I will not, I will forget. We was in Coach Salisbury class. Shout out to Coach Salisbury. I'm chirping like a bird. Hopefully somebody here. So I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, hey, I'm probably going to go to this life right office and snitch like a bird and try to have CPS to have her locked up. Or I'm going to run away. I'm going to see what I'm going to do. Go to this nice guy, I'll be the one run away. 
I quit always run away. I quit always run away. I quit always run away. So I actually just told my friends, and my friends like, oh my god, why would she do that? But then, like over the years, <laughs> over the years, so they was kind of getting like it was like, like these are my ninth grade friends, my eighth grade and middle school friends. They know how crazy my mama is. Shout out to Kim and Belisha. They know how crazy my mama is. So they was like, oh yeah, they sound like your mama. My ninth grade, oh my god, why would she do that? Because they ain't know. Over the years, they knew. They started to get the picture that my mama is crazy. So they like, oh my God, why would she do that? So I'm trying to talk loud enough to get the attention of the teacher so he can overhear what's going on. Because I'm telling the story. Like, you know how I told y'all the story. I'm giving a story time in the class. I ain't nobody paying attention to that man work anymore. Like, I don't have anybody around my test. My people already gravitated to me anyways because I was famous. And not even just because I had a cloud or I was famous because I was just a good person. I was smart. I let, I let people cheat off me and I cheated off people. I wasn't even that smart for real in school. I just cheated off the smart people. And I, I had a lot of knowledge. So I could just pass the test off. I was cheating. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was just smart. And I let everybody cheat. And we cheated off each other. Because it was an honors class. So everybody in there was smart. It wasn't really nobody dumb in there. So if I didn't know something, I just cheated off them. And if they knew something, I didn't. We cheated off each other. In a class who cheat together, to cheat together. And we, and they helped me graduate. And I love y'all. So, um... So, yeah, I'm just giving a story time how I'm giving it to y'all. Everybody forming around my desk because I ain't give a fuck who was in my business. My, I'm really reserved to myself and I don't really tell people my business. But at that time, I wanted somebody mama to be a social worker to have my mama locked up. <laughs> I was praying somebody mama was a social worker in that class. So, I ended up telling them the story time. And in that class period, I ended up telling them it was lunchtime. It was lunchtime, so it was lunch class. It was lunch period. A lot of lunch um, during field period and you come back to class. No, I think... I don't know what hall he was on. It was either you go back to class or you go to your next class. I don't know. So it was lunch. So we ended up just going to lunch. We was just talking about it at lunch. And I'm telling them, oh, y'all, I'm going to run away. I'm like, I'm going to run away. I'm going to run away. They're trying to calm me down. Cause I'm like, I think I'm going to just leave the school. They're trying to calm me down. So they do that. And if you want to know what happened next, you got to like this video for part two. Ah! I got you. I know y'all wanted it. I got you. Like this video. And bye, Miss Mamas. <laughs> How you say you guys, but ain't got that shit in blood? I'm the type of